As you wheel your cart through the massive supermarket aisles of the Kroger, Albertsons, or Stop and Shop, lined with every food imaginable, it is easy to forget there are millions of Americans who don't have a local grocery store at all. Sheffield, Illinois, population 821, was on the verge of becoming one of those food deserts until the community got together to save a beloved institution. NBC's Maggie Vespa has our Sunday Spotlight. Hours west of Chicago and a world away from urban life sits a town so small it runs without stoplights. In Sheffield, Illinois, the population is measured by the hundreds. And the checkout clerk knows your name. It's been like that since Cliff Winger opened the town's only grocery store in 1940. He was just a good businessman. He enjoyed the people, he enjoyed, he enjoyed the whole small town life. Royal Supermart fed Sheffield for decades. Winger's son, John, took over in the 80s. Then, a few years ago, life changed. You were retiring. That's, that's correct, but I didn't want to leave the town without a grocery store. That weighed on me quite a bit. Fear spreads fast in small towns. What's the big deal of having a store in town? The big deal is the fact that you don't have to drive 15, 20 miles to go get groceries. It, it makes it more challenging. Well, a lot of times you get to cooking something and you need just an onion. I don't want to have to drive a half an hour to go get an onion. I'm raising little kids here. Enter Elizabeth Pratt, a nurse who runs a nonprofit focused on health. If the grocery store goes away and the hardware store goes away and the boutiques and all the other, other businesses go away, then a lot of people are left convenience store shopping for their main source of food. And that just doesn't sit right with me. She offered to buy the store if she could raise the funds. Was that like music to your ears? Oh, yes. <laughs> you bet. You bet. Like you got it right away. Oh, oh, absolutely. If fear spreads fast, generosity goes at warp speed. Personal and corporate donations topped half a million dollars. 43.3, please. Pratt renovated, making Royal Supermart energy efficient adding self-checkout and cementing local access to fresh meat and produce. How proud is everyone working here? Oh, I think they're all very proud. They they appreciate the community like helping us out, the keep it going and they feel like it's a little bit of ownership, I think. Is this place a labor of love for you? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The word I would say I've used the most so far is it's exhausting, but it's definitely super joyful. And I think only things that are exhausting first bring that kind of deep joy. Winger retired. How does it make you feel? Oh, I feel great. I couldn't be happier about this whole process. Knowing his tiny town can feed itself. Sheffield's gonna have a grocery store for many years to come. For Sunday Today, Maggie Vespa, Sheffield, Illinois. Maggie, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.